Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. In this video, we're going to look at some of the options you can apply to group leaders in your system. So if you're familiar with LearnDash, you're probably aware that there is this concept of groups in LearnDash. And groups are a great way to manage your learners' access to courses as a group rather than as individuals. So you can create these groups of users and give them access to certain courses. So as an example here, I have a group and it has eight users in it and they have access to three courses. And if I wanted to give all eight users access to one more course, all I would need to do is give this group access to this additional course, and in turn, all eight users would get access to it. So it's just a, a much more efficient way of managing groups of users in your system. These groups can also have group leaders, and these are people designated on your system that can be made a leader of a group and they get a certain amount of additional features um, and that can be configured as we'll see later in this video. So to create a group leader what you would what we would do is go to a user so I will go to this particular user here this is a fictitious user but what we can do is scroll down to the role and what we want to do is select group leader from the options here and then click save. And then that person will then be designated as a group leader in the system. And what we can do then is head to a group. And if we wanted to assign that person to a group, we can go to edit, head over to the users tab and scroll down to group leaders. And we can apply one or more leaders to a group. So if I switch over here quickly to a group leader account. There's not a huge amount by default that they see differently. What they can do is head to the dashboard usually and then they've got this option of learn dash and then groups and they have a few features out of the box but they can list users and see certain reports on their progress. Depending on what other plugins you've installed, you might have some additional reporting plugins that allow group leaders to do different things within groups. But what we're going to do here is show you some of the features within LearnDash that allow you to extend the permissions of group leaders in your platform. So I'm going to head back to LearnDash as an admin here, and then go to LearnDash LMS and then groups, and then head over to settings. And we've got this section here called group leader user settings and this allows you to switch on or off certain capabilities for group leaders so one thing you might want to do is say that group leaders can have access to all courses automatically so by default group leaders would only have access to the courses that they have been enrolled onto but what you can do is select that now and then click save. And that would mean that any group leader on your system automatically has access to any course. So if I switch back to this user here and refresh it, I should find that I can now go to all courses and access any one of those. I will automatically be enrolled into it and I can access all of the content within it without having to be manually enrolled onto it. Going back to these settings here, We've got also the option to bypass certain progression and access rules. So within courses and lessons, you can make it so that they have to view them in a certain order uh, and you can lift that permission you know, for lift that uh, restriction for group leaders so that they will be able to access content in all, any order, regardless of if you've had a setting to say they had to view them in a certain order. There's also the option to manage certain permission, uh, other settings within this, the site here. And there's a bit of a warning here that says activating these options can interfere with certain things and it advises you to view a page on uh, LearnDash's site before proceeding. But what you might want to do for certain reasons on your platform is allow your group leaders to manage groups and Within each of these, you might have some cert certain settings. So you can say, I want group leaders to be able to manage only groups that they actually own uh, or are, with are within. And that's probably your safest setting. So let's just save that now 
and switch back to the group leader role here and refresh that. And what we find now is that within groups, we've actually got access to be able to manage certain groups and, and change the settings within it. We didn't have that option before, but we can change things like group descriptions, group settings and things like that. So we've now been allowed the permission to be able to do that. Switching back to this again, we could also allow them to create and manage any group on the site and not just ones that they own. Let's have a look at this one here. So we can allow them to manage courses and by base, the basic option here will be allow the group leader to create, manage and delete their own courses. But you might want to take that a step further and allow group leaders to create, manage and delete any course of the, on the site. And if we click save there, and then head back to the group leader account here and refresh it. What we find is that now a lot more options become available to this group leader. They can create courses, edit courses, they can create lessons, quizzes. So they've got the full course management capability that an admin might have. And the last one we'll look at here is the option for them to manage users. The basic level of this would allow the group leader to manage users within their own courses. But if you wanted to, you could allow them to manage any user on the site. And obviously this is risky. You would want to you know, make sure that this group leader is someone you know and you trust within your system. But if you enabled that and made it advanced so that they could manage any user on the site, you can click save. And then if we look at our group leader account here again, and refresh it, they now have the users section that you would normally have as an admin and they can see all users on your system and make changes to them, edit passwords and things like that. So the, the, this group leader role has now become very powerful on your system. They can do a lot more things than they could by default. So it's one to use at your own risk and uh, you know, you, I'm sure some of you may have a, a use for this. So uh, hopefully find, hope that you find this useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.